Welcome to NP Certification Q&A, presented by Fitzgerald Health Education Associates. This podcast is for NP students studying to pass their NP certification exam. Getting to the correct test answers means breaking down the exam questions themselves. Expert Fitzgerald faculty clinicians share their knowledge and experience to help you dissect the anatomy of a test question so you can better understand how to arrive at the correct test answer. So, if you're ready, let's jump right in. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of a major neurocognitive disorder, and while largely managed with non-pharmacologic interventions, there are also a variety of pharmacotherapeutics available for use when appropriate. Which of the following is considered a first-line pharmacologic intervention for symptom control in the patient with Alzheimer's disease? A. Lecanemab B. Donepazil C. Memantine and D. Nemzeric And so, just as a point of interest, when you see actual drug names on a certification exam, the generic name is virtually always there. And, and by the way, a number of questions related to pharmacology, it's just as likely that there will be drug classes in the question rather than drug names. But when drug names are there, and there are some, it will virtually always have the generic name And sometimes if there's a really popular branded name, the branded name will also be there in parentheses next to it. Now, in this question, you'll notice that A, B, and C are all generic names, and D is a brand name. And that will be, the reason for that will be evident after we review the question. But the principle is something very specifically that I believe it's important to review with you as you prepare for your boards. So anyway, the question again, the the specific question, which of the following is considered a first-line pharmacologic intervention for symptom control in the patient with Alzheimer's disease, lecanemab, donepazil, memantine, or nemzeric? After carefully reviewing all four answer choices, hopefully you identified that B is the correct answer. Donepazil is an acetylcholinesterase inhibitor and the brand name you will probably recognize, it is Aricept. So donepazil is an acetylcholinesterase inhibitor, and it is the typical first-line approach for symptomatic Alzheimer's disease. Now, conceptually, there are other acetylcholinesterase inhibitors that could also be used, but donepazil is probably the most widely recognized one. Aricept is a very popular brand. And what's important here is that it's the only acetylcholinesterase inhibitor in this option. So just as a side note, I would keep in mind for your boards that acetylcholinesterase inhibitors, and of which donepazil is most commonly recognized, would be the most appropriate first-line approach for symptom control. Now, some of you that are familiar with this area of study may be thinking, wow, lecanemab is this newest drug that has been designed for earlier onset Alzheimer's disease. And the idea with lecanemab is to not control symptoms, but to actually halt the progression of the disease and even reverse some of the amyloid plaque damage that was done. And while the intent is that one day lecanemab will be given first when it, you know, when it is more in more widespread use for for distribution, but it's not for symptom control. And and again, it comes back to, as always, answering what the question is asked of you. Now, practically speaking, uh, lecanemab is a very new agent, is introduced, like I said, as an attempt to prevent further deterioration and even reverse existing damage. And so one day, hopefully, that will be the first line intervention but it's not now under any circumstances. And specifically with respect to this question, lecanemab is not for symptom control. Symptom control, we have two classes of medication. We have the acetylcholinesterase inhibitors and we have the NMDA receptor antagonist. Now choice C, memantine, is an NMDA receptor antagonist, or we could say a glutamate antagonist, That's indicated later in disease. 
So the general approach to the patient with symptomatic Alzheimer's disease is that acetylcholinesterase inhibitors are your first line intervention from you know more moderate, mild to moderate symptoms. And then the um, NMDA receptor antagonists are indicated later on in disease. Now, as it happens, they're actually available as a combination agent. Donepazil and memantine are put together as Nemzaric. The brand drug is Nemzaric. That's a branded medication with both donepazil and memantine in it. So you can see why I didn't list the generic name for choice D. It would have given away the farm that that wasn't the first one. And um, you know, there are different schools of thought on this. And you may have even worked with people clinically that will go right to the Nemzaric. But from an evidence-based approach to care, the acetylcholinesterase is indicated first for symptom control. As the patient deteriorates, you may add memantine to it, either as a second pill or as the combination agent Nemzaric. And that's how we control symptoms. And that really is the only pharmacotherapy for the cognitive symptoms specific to Alzheimer's disease. And hopefully one day, uh, lecanemab, which is marketed as lecembi, will be our first approach to actually prevent deterioration, but that's a long way off. Thank you for listening to NP Certification Q&A, presented by Fitzgerald Health Education Associates. Please rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast. And for more NP resources, visit FHEA.com.